chicken nuggets? It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Grow TV. TV. <laughs> oh, I really popped you in the nose. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Welcome to Grow TV. Roll the intro. Ouch. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to OTD. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yes, we Perfect. are so in sync today. Almost like we could finish each other's sandcastles at the beach. I was gonna say sentences, but you know, I wonder how well we actually know each other. Me too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ask, Ask each, each other, other questions, questions that will prove how great friends, friends we truly really are. Yes! So we're gonna take turns asking each other questions and then you're gonna have to answer for what you think my answer would be. Got it? Got it. Perfect. All right, what is my favorite drink? Easy, Theodore Roosevelt. What? What was the question? My favorite drink, Carl. Oh, I have no idea. But that's not a big deal because I bet you don't know what my favorite drink Hot is. Hot chocolate with a half a pound of whipped cream on top. Yes. Oh, man, you're good. All right, well, describe my perfect day. <clears throat> oh, man. Um, going to the zoo? Not even close. Sleep until 3 p.m. Have first and second breakfast. Watch monster trucks with Maymo. Uh, then order in some chicken nuggets, and then watch VeggieTales until I pass out. Wow, I was way off. I guess we really don't know each other as well as we thought. Guess not. We're like Jesus and Nathaniel. What do you mean? I mean, like in today's story, in John chapter one, Jesus was leaving Galilee, and then he found Philip. You remember that, right? Yeah, I think so. Jesus saw Philip and told him to follow him. Then didn't Philip go like find his friend Nathaniel who was sitting underneath a fig tree? He sure did, but when Philip told him that everything the prophet said a long time ago about the Savior had come true, Nathaniel doubted him. If I'm being honest, I probably would have too. That's a huge thing to say, and when people have been waiting a long time to meet Jesus. They sure have. And then Jesus saw Nathaniel, and Jesus told him a ton of things that there's no way he could have known, right? Yeah, and Nathaniel's like, what? Jesus even knew that Nathaniel was under that fig tree. Yeah, and then Jesus was like, I knew you, and I saw you before Philip even told me about you. And Nathaniel's like, what? Totally, then Nathaniel finally told Jesus that he believed not only that he was the son of God, but he was also the savior. I mean, how cool is that? All it took for Nathaniel to have faith is to know that Jesus cared about Nathaniel enough to know about him. Pretty cool. Jesus is awesome. It reminds me of the Bible passage in Psalm 139. It says that God knows us, God searches us, and God knows our thoughts even from far away. I don't know, I think it just makes me feel better knowing that God knows everything about me, you know? No secrets. Yeah, it's hard sometimes when people don't understand you, and you feel alone sometimes. Do you think God knows that? 100%. Jesus showed Philip and Nathaniel that following Jesus really isn't as hard as we make it out to be sometimes. And it gets a lot easier once we realize that God knows everything there is to know about us. What we like and what we don't, when we're happy and when we're sad. Does God know what I had for breakfast? Of course. And I know too. Spin a jomlet, right? Yeah. How'd you know about that? Your breath is pretty pungent today, so. Oh. My bad. So I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better about our friendship. We may not know everything about one another, but I think we have fun. We sure do. And I don't care who knows what about me. Only thing I care about is that Jesus knows us. Well, I know something. Hmm. That's our big idea. <laughs> I doubt it. It is. Watch. One, two, three. No. Oh. It okay. was. That was. One, two, three. There we go. Big idea intro. Is that happening? Music, yeah. Did you see the confetti around us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's the letters being in front of our faces. Why can't I feel yeah, like it? If you, you can be underneath the letters. Okay. Yeah. Today's big idea is Jesus knows us. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. Jesus, Jesus knows us! us. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. Yeah. What's up? Big idea. Here we go. What's up? It's your first time. So we don't know each other as well as we thought we did, but I bet you can't guess how many fingers I'm holding up under this table. Um, three. Nope. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. See you next week, kids. Down! <laughs> 
Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of 